a beautiful Thursday it is. Few hours from now, the month of January shall have come to an end. But it's not all smiles to some individuals. And here we are looking into the matter of the impeachment of Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waititu. Before he was impeached, he spoke of something like, uh, that is happening because he's on a wrong political divide. Mr. Litzor, how true is that statement of Governor Waititu? That statement is fallacious mm -hmm. and does not hold water. Mm -hmm. What does it hold? Uh, you know, one, everyone knows mm -hmm. Waititu misappropriated the funds. Mm -hmm. Waititu went there to steal and not to serve the people of Kiambu. Mm -hmm. And it is already there. The evidence mm -hmm. is already there. Mm -hmm. There is a scenario in a story where mm -hmm. a police officer mm -hmm. walked into a store mm -hmm. in a sugar company. Mm -hmm. The police officer, mm -hmm. then the bags, six bags of sugar, mm -hmm fell on him and broke his leg. Mm -hmm. When the police, uh, the police officer went to court mm -hmm. to report that the, 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 the owner of the sugar factory had broken my leg, mm -hmm. the owner of the sugar factory said, how did we break your leg? Mm -hmm. We didn't break your leg. Mm -hmm. But now, there's what we call the evidence, let the evidence work. Mm -hmm. Let the evidence speak mm -hmm. for itself. Mm -hmm. How did I break my leg mm -hmm. when I came into your Sugar factory, sure. the stores. Mm -hmm. If you if you had done or had good pre 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 precautions, mm -hmm. uh, good measures mm -hmm. of, uh, of safety precautions mm -hmm. were taken care of, mm -hmm. could my leg have uh, could have broke? Could my leg have be broken right now? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. So let the evidence do the work. Mm -hmm. So these managers were compelled mm -hmm. to compensate mm -hmm. the inspector. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> on that because of their carelessness, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Remember, the Kiambu people on, 8th of, uh, on 7th of August, mm -hmm. 2017, mm -hmm. they went and voted for Kiambu governor, mm -hmm. Ferdinand Waititu Babayao, mm -hmm. believing mm -hmm. that he's going to do and deliver services mm -hmm. for them exactly. with high expectations. Mm -hmm. Little did they know mm -hmm he will come mm -hmm. and enrich himself mm -hmm. and the family, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And that is what happened. Mm -hmm. To an extent, he goes mm -hmm. and takes a land of a widow, mm -hmm. an old widow, mm -hmm. which is very wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, what, that is what the highest abuse of office that has been exhibited. We look now, Mr. Litswa, into this matter and his complaint. Uh, according to Commonwealth law, if there's no procedure, there's no law. It must be procedural and what have you. So having watched the proceedings in the Senate yesterday, was the procedure, the legal procedure properly followed? Yes. Mm -hmm. One, Waititu was given time to defend himself. Mm -hmm. He was there with the lawyers. Mm -hmm. The county assembly sent a representative, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. to, to, to state their side, mm -hmm. how the impeachment came to be where it is, mm -hmm. how they impeached the governor. Mm -hmm. So they stated it clearly mm -hmm. before the Senate. Mm -hmm. And remember, mm -hmm. the procedures were well taken care of. Mm -hmm. A debate was there, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm on how to impeach the governors, mm -hmm. the grounds to impeach the governors, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And you can see the voting time mm -hmm. was lesser mm -hmm. than the, 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 the interrogation time. Mm -hmm. What does this tell you? Mm -hmm. Due diligence mm -hmm. was carried out in the Senate. Remember, they sat for two days, mm -hmm. on Wednesday, on, on Tuesday, mm -hmm. and Wednesday, mm -hmm. okay? Looking deep into this matter, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm and the reasons to how they can either reinstate the governor mm -hmm. or uphold the impeachment mm -hmm. from the county assembly. Mm -hmm. And the grounds were very clear. Mm -hmm. The voting happened mm -hmm. on, three, on three tenets, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And it went on well. Now, when you look at Waititu's case and that one of uh, Leonard Clark, the timelines have been different. 
but uh, you see this one uh, came from the county assembly and the other one is uh, the issue of the DCI and the EACC. So according to you, between the two, the EACC, the DCI, and the county assembly, which one is proving that, that it can work faster and effectively you see, in terms of people waiting and waiting and waiting? You see, the governor of case, mm -hmm. it is still subject, he can still go to court mm -hmm. and appeal. Mm -hmm. He has that, that, uh, uh, that, that time, mm -hmm. he has that provision, mm -hmm. he can go straight to court, mm -hmm. which I know he will go. Mm -hmm to appeal mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. And if the courts will uphold the decision mm -hmm. or quash the decision, mm -hmm. now, it's a, it will, now we shall all be looking at the courts, mm -hmm. OK? Mm -hmm. Because I know he's going to go to the court to seek mm -hmm. what we call justice, mm -hmm. OK, mm -hmm. for himself, mm -hmm. which is allowed, which is acceptable. Mm -hmm. mm, now, for Governor Lenukulal, mm -hmm. the agencies are doing their work. Mm -hmm. And uh, we cannot compare the two matters mm -hmm. because the agencies saw the impropriety mm -hmm. in, in this, in, 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 in mismanagement. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. they have taken charge. Mm -hmm. Now for Governor Waititu, mm -hmm. he had an issue mm -hmm. with the agencies mm -hmm. and also an issue with the county assembly so it combined and the people. And so the these are the two corners. different matters mm -hmm. that we cannot try to uh, uh, compare mm -hmm. and contrast. Mm -hmm. We can only compare mm -hmm. the case of the DCI mm -hmm. on Waititu mm -hmm. and the case of DCI and the ESCC mm -hmm. on Lenokulal, mm -hmm. the same as Sonko. Now, having watched what uh, transpired yesterday in the Senate, Nakuru County Senator, that is Susan Kihika, who is a, who is a lawyer, came up and talked of uh, the process was not legally abiding. Also, we had Murkome. Uh, the majority leader, who is a lawyer, who actually echoed the sentiments and said that in as much as most of the things we do is politically instigated, but let us follow the law in this. Who was trying to adhere to the law? Because Kenyans still, still want to know, actually, because both sides were saying, we are following the law, we are following the law. Who was following the real law in this matter of Waititu? The law yesterday, the, Senate, the, ma the majority of senators followed the law. Mm -hmm. And when they came to the house, or they went to the floor of the house to defend the reasons to why they should impeach them, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I saw Susan Kika trying to contradict mm -hmm. themselves mm -hmm. to some extent, mm -hmm. because it is already white and black. Mm -hmm. These are the evidence, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. As much as there's affiliation. Mm -hmm. You know, what they were trying to bring forth was about the affiliation. Mm -hmm. And they were trying to bring in the BBI context into it. Mm -hmm. It's all about the affiliation. Mm -hmm. And this was not about the affiliation. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you for sure, if this thing, if the thing of what it could be in the parliament, and I'm very happy it was not in the parliament, it can never, it can, an issue of the governor can never go in the parliament. Mm -hmm. If it were in the parliament, mm -hmm. then what it could have carried the day. Why? Because of sympathy. Mm -hmm. So and Senate also, does not have and sympathy. Also, and also, Senate carry out their, their responsibilities, their duties. Mm -hmm. So National Assembly... As the way they are you, supposed to. They, they usually do not do as they... You see, the National Assembly we have right now, mm -hmm. you cannot compare it to the National Assembly we had in 1997, mm -hmm. the National Assembly that we had in 2003, the National mm -hmm. Assembly that we had in 2007. Mm -hmm. Either. Mm -hmm. The National Assembly we have right now mm -hmm. is of jokers. Mm -hmm. People are never serious. Mm -hmm. When it comes to voting, mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm there'll be less number, mm -hmm. so the voting will not be carried out. Mm -hmm. So a bill might pass mm -hmm. due to that. Mm -hmm. When it comes to, to, to legislation, mm -hmm. they don't legislate what is of importance to the common man. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of jokes in the current August House, mm -hmm. which now we need to call upon the members of the public. Mm -hmm. When you're going, when you're voting, mm -hmm. vote in the right person. Mm -hmm. now, now, on Waititu's case, that those ones who feel that uh, it's because of his political affiliation and that's why he has faced the impeachment yesterday. What's your take, Mr. Lito? Uh, to me, I say, you know, it's not all about the political affiliation. Mm -hmm. It's all about uh, the things that he did, mm -hmm. the crimes that the Kiambu people believe mm -hmm. he committed. Mm -hmm. And the Kiambu people have uh, gotten justice mm -hmm. and uh, what they were yearning for. Mm -hmm. So you cannot say 
It's all about political affiliation. Mm -hmm. No. Because at the end of the day, the majority of the house is Jubilee. Mm -hmm. The minority of our house, these other mm -hmm. parties. Mm -hmm. So coming to say it's all about the affiliation, that one will be a wrong narrative and a misleading mm -hmm. to the nation. Uh, the current constitution provides a room that once a governor is impeached or incapacitated or is removed from office, the deputy governor automatically takes over. What happens in a scenario where these two people were working together, even sabotaging development, corruption, and what have you? Your suggestion doesn't that part needs to be revisited? Good. That is the part that also needs to be revisited. It's something that we questioned in 2017. We were trying to discuss about it with some few individuals. Eh? When the, govern, the generic governor died, mm -hmm. then the current governor or the deputy governor would just take over. Mm -hmm. So we were like, it would be very risky mm -hmm. if something is not looked into mm -hmm. so that it can, you can provide where the, the way it is as for the president. Mm -hmm. When the president dies, the deputy president does not assume office automatically, sure. but he just assumes office for 90 days and then we go for an election. Mm -hmm. The same, same thing should happen mm -hmm. to the governors. Mm -hmm. And because, and I saw Senator Malala also divulge into this yesterday night. Mm -hmm. They were elected on one ticket. Sure. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, when one is going, mm -hmm. the other should go. Mm -hmm. Because they came together on one ticket. ticket including the uh, county executive committee members who are appointed by the governor and other, the extension of so many other things, those who call the shots yeah. within the executive So those are arm. some of the things that also we need to look into in the constitution. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot say, uh, because when I sat with you to agree to run on a ticket, mm -hmm. it means that you have the same ideology. Mm -hmm. So there's no way you can tell me you have a contrary of opinion mm -hmm. to what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And because of conflict of interest that may arise because of such a gaps, mm -hmm. Now we need to relook into the constitution and uh, I believe the deputy governors, once the governor is impeached, the deputy governor should not be spared mm -hmm. because they all run on one mm -hmm. ticket. Mm -hmm. There's no one who comes in on a different ticket. Mm -hmm. They come on the same ticket. Now, common law operates on precedents, statutes, and the decisions that have been made by courts, especially those ones of high authority. This has happened, it's precedent, where other future occurrences will actually be attributed to this, it will be referred to this. Kenyans are eager to know whether this is going to apply in other cases and in other governor's cases once it comes before the Senate. So what is your parting shot to the agencies, to the members of county assemblies, and also to the citizens themselves? Because a number feels that there is a relief in this president that has been set? One thing I can say before I give the party shot is that uh, the Senate have, 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 have done what they are required to do as per the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And that is their mandate. They have executed their mandate in the best way possible. But it came after the members of county assemblies of Kiambu brought it to their attention and also the investigative agencies. Even before the investigation, investigative agency mm -hmm. came in, mm -hmm. Kambu people had an issue. Mm -hmm. Believe me or not, with or without ESCC and the DCI mm -hmm. getting hold of YT to over other issues, mm -hmm. Kambu people, the Kambu County Assembly was going still to impeach YT mm -hmm. because it was something that was already there. Mm -hmm. It was something that they had already discussed. Mm -hmm. So they were working on it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, with or without the DCI, Kiambu was going to impeach Governor Waititu. Mm -hmm. okay. So, Kiambu is a case study, only one out of 47. The 46, they want a way forward over this. It's all about uh, let uh, everyone step up to, uh, to their own mandate mm -hmm. and execute their duties mm -hmm. the way they are supposed to. Mm -hmm. The MCS, let them do their oversight role mm -hmm. the best way possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you are presenting your case, either to the DPP or in the courts mm -hmm. for justice, mm -hmm. make sure the evidence is watertight. Mm -hmm. 
so that we get justice the way we deserve to get justice. Mm -hmm. And let each and everyone be, mm -hmm. play mm -hmm. an oversight role. Mm -hmm. It's not only for few individuals. Mm -hmm. we, we've only given few that mandate, but the oversight still remains with us. Mm -hmm. That's why we attend the public, the public, uh, the public gatherings mm -hmm. for maybe to implement one or two projects. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why we elect the leaders. Mm -hmm. So the back stops with us. Mm -hmm. Let us help our leaders in executing the oversight roles. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Mr. Cyrus Litswa, for your deep and wonderful analysis on this matter of the impeachment of Kiambu County Governor Ferdinand Waititu. We also appreciate you, our dear viewers, for your feedback and your comments on our social media platforms. From me, Cornelius Omuse, I wish you a good night.